Why might Wi-Fi be faster than Ethernet? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been answering questions and playing with technology since 2003. Well, to be honest, I've been playing with technology a lot longer than that. But AskLeo has been around since 2003 and I've been taking questions and offering opinions ever since. Let me read you today's question. Hi Leo, is it normal for Wi-Fi to be consistently faster by more than 50% than Ethernet for my LG TV? All my other devices on my LAN favor Ethernet speed. If it's normal for certain devices, for example, this LG TV, why? Because it doesn't agree with the norm. You're right. The norm is that in general, wired connections are always faster. And I've actually written about that in the past. I do have a couple of ideas that are at least worth investigating to understand what might be going on. Now, I don't know how you're comparing both wired and wireless on a TV, so I'm going to have to kind of sidestep that issue. Normally, those devices have only one connection, and in fact, it's usually only wired. So there's no opportunity for us to do a real apples to apples comparison with that single device. But when we take a look at Ethernet connections in general, there are a couple of things that could be getting in the way. One thing to check right away, actually, is all of the equipment on the wired path and see if any of it is particularly old. I say that because one of the early and common Ethernet standards was only 10 megabits per second. At the time, of course, that seemed pretty amazingly fast. But since then, Ethernet has gone on to a more common standard of 100 megabits per second and even a gigabit per second. Now, the issue is that if there is any old equipment in the path, say, for example, you have an old 10 megabit only hub, that is what will restrict the speed completely. In other words, the speed is going to be the slowest of the devices that are along that path. So check all the equipment, be it your router, any switches involved, any hubs involved, and in fact, the Ethernet port on the device itself. It's not uncommon for older devices to only support up to 10 megabits per second. Another issue, and I've actually experienced this one myself, cables can impact your speed. It's kind of weird. You would expect a cable to either work or not. But the reality is that cables can be damaged in such a way that they do a poorer job of transmitting the Ethernet signal, the actual networking signal. As a result, what happens is the computers at either end have to retry over and over and over again to try and get their data through. When it finally does get through, great. But because it took five tries or 10 tries, or I've seen it take hundreds of tries to get a packet of data through, you've just effectively reduced the throughput, the speed you actually experience by a dramatic amount, be it in half, be it by five, by 10 or by 100. If you can, take the opportunity to check the cables for being bent in an odd way, broken or otherwise damaged. And of course, a quick and usually easy way to do this is to replace the cables with something new, something known good, something that is not something that perhaps you've been using for a very long time. I recommend at this point Cat 5E or Cat 6 cables if you have the opportunity. Those, the Cat 6 cables are rated for a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, that will means they'll work just fine on 100 megabits if that's what your devices are. And honestly, this all could be legitimate. Here's how it works. If your devices are, I don't want to say not new, but maybe just a little bit old. In other words, there's something maybe within older than, say, the past year or two. They might be limited to 100 megabits per second. Very common, very fast. It's usually plenty for what most people are doing. And in fact, that's even faster than most people's internet connection. However, there are newer Wi-Fi protocols that are faster than that. So if your Wi-Fi access point or your Wi-Fi router supports one of these newer, faster Wi-Fi protocols and the device that you're connecting also supports the newer, faster Wi-Fi protocols and they're relatively close so that the signal strength is high, it's possible. It's conceivable that, in fact, the Wi-Fi between that device and the access point 
is faster than your 100 megabit Ethernet connection. It's not common because a lot of things, as you've seen, have to kind of align for this thing to work properly. And even with the newer protocols, if there's any interference or if there's any significant distance involved, then they immediately fall back to the more common speeds that are slower than 100 megabits. But it is at least possible for this to be a completely legitimate scenario. The net result being that your Wi-Fi could outperform your Ethernet cable. But my money, based on my experience, there's a cable problem somewhere. That's usually the first place I look. I hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in the article that this was originally based on, or if you'd like to leave a comment or see the related links and updates on that article, it's at askleo.com 7637. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the Ask Leo YouTube channel for more videos as they're made available. If you want more content like this and all that I offer on Ask Leo, make sure to subscribe to the Ask Leo Confident Computing Weekly Newsletter. Visit newsletter.askleo.com for more information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thank you.